Hello chicken fans, I'm Brian with the Hobby Farm Guys. Today we'll look at a breed of chicken that has the distinction of being the first ever Canadian breed. Coming up, the Chanticleer Chicken. Hopefully that intro wasn't too long, but long enough to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't worry, you can click that button or the notification bell or thumbs up while I tell you about a true Canadian chicken breed, the Chanticleer. Now, we live in East Idaho where we experience some pretty long and cold winters. It's March and we still have plenty of single digit temperatures and snow in the forecast for the coming week. Of course, our Canadian brothers and sisters often experience similar winters or worse. And those conditions inspired a monk in a Quebec monastery to want to develop a chicken breed suited to harsh winters. Brother Wilfred Chatelain supervised the process and he and his colleagues spent 10 years working on a deliberately slow breeding program before introducing their chickens to the public. Dark Cornishes, Rhode Island Reds, White Leghorns and White Wyandotes all added their genes to the production of the Chanticleer breed. Only 13 years after beginning their dedicated work, the White Chanticleer was admitted to the Poultry Association's Standard of Perfection. 14 years later, the Partridge Chanticleers were also admitted. A light buff variety was introduced in the 1950s, but not admitted to the APA standard. The name Chanticleer comes from French and it means to sing brightly. But this is no songbird, it's a true dual purpose farm chicken. With roosters weighing around 9 pounds and hens about 7 pounds, they can produce a quality 5 pound carcass when processed for meat. The white pin feathers leave a clean and well dressed looking carcass too. Not only was this breed developed to tolerate the harsh conditions of the Great White North, but special attention was paid to ensuring a very strong and healthy bird. Because frostbite on combs and wattles can be an issue for chickens in colder climates, this was considered in their breeding. As a result, chanticleers have virtually no wattles and a small red cushion comb, helping them avoid the frostbite problem. The flesh and legs are yellow, the eyes reddish bay, and the beak yellow to dark horn colored. The feathers are tight against the body, helping them withstand cold climates. Hens average around 200 to 220 eggs per year, pretty good for a dual purpose breed. The eggs are large size and light brown to pink in color. Unlike many dual purpose breeds that lay a fair amount of eggs, the Chanticleer does have a tendency to go broody. When they hatch a clutch of chicks, the hens also make great nurturing mothers. The Chanticleer checks the box as its cold hardy, strong and healthy breed, but those weren't the only characteristics those Canadian monks were seeking. They also wanted their breed to be of calm and peaceful temperament. Once again, they succeeded. Chanticleers are one of the gentlest and friendly breeds out there. As with all breeds, they're more personable if handled regularly as chicks. This breed is on the Livestock Conservancy's watch list and therefore can be hard to find. And honestly, I can't figure out why. This breed should be highly desired by so many people given all the positive attributes it has. What's your opinion? Are you interested in this breed or do you have personal experience with them? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Or you can make suggestions for other breeds of chicken, duck, goats, pigs. Well, you get the idea. And hopefully, you found a moment to subscribe if you haven't already. If not, I'll wait. Thanks, everyone. Happy Hobby Farm.